Okay, so we've got the rifle set up, the scope and the rifle are working together well. What we're going to go into now is actually the marksmanship principles, building up your position behind the rifle and really getting the best out of yourself and the equipment that you've got there. Okay, so there's four main marksmanship principles. The first one is the rifle must point naturally at the target. This is natural alignment and it's really fundamental. Okay, so we've naturally aligned, placed the rifle down in front of us and I've moved my body in behind the rifle. That's a position nicely naturally aligned. You don't want to be plunking yourself down on the floor and then moving the rifle around trying to find a good position. A bit like moving the rifle around and then trying to settle down in behind it. You're always going to be fidgeting your position. Place the rifle down and then slide your body in behind the rifle and you'll get a much better natural aligned position. The second one is the position and hold must be firm enough to support the rifle. You've got to have good positive control of that firearm so it's not flailing about all over the place but you're not having to really um, put any muscular effort in. Okay so we've got a nice firm position which is supporting the rifle. You've got the bipod at the front, your body's nice and low to the ground, got a nice wide base, right elbow's flayed out, left elbow's flayed out, most of your chest is on the deck, you're not up on your elbows, chest up, bipod up, and potentially flailing about in the wind and being unstable. So get your position down nice and low, almost as if you're going to fall asleep and you're settling in behind the rifle. The third uh, marksmanship principle is sight picture and sight alignment must be correct. We touched on that in the rifle and the scope setup but we're talking about getting a nice clear picture through the scope and looking through that scope nice and squarely so that we're looking through the scope the same every time. Okay, so the fourth marksmanship principle is releasing the shot and following through with no disturbance to the position. We can actually practice this quite easily in a dry firing scenario. You're not going to damage the rifle by any, in any way by dry firing and then the natural progression to that is actually firing live ammunition. So here we're talking about a good uh, spot weld with, between your cheek and the cheek piece or the stock on the rifle and between shots we're not lifting our head away from the stock looking over the top of the scope to see what's going on. You're not going to see any better 100 metres, 200 metres down the field than you are through this thing. Okay, so there's absolutely no need for you to lift your head away from the stock and look beyond that. Yes, by all means keep both eyes open. Your left eye or your non-shooting eye gives you that extra situational awareness, but there's absolutely no need for you to be moving your face away from the stock. <laughs> 